So yesterday, the CEOs of uh, the CEOs of uh, let's see, Discord, Snap, TikTok, X, i.e., Twitter, and Meta were all seated in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee to discuss or to be accused of, to be lectured to on big tech and online child sexual exploitation. It turns out there's a crisis of online child sexual exploitation and according to senators, mainly Republicans, the responsibility for this uh, exploitation and for this crisis, I didn't know there was a crisis, but I think there is. I mean, if the Senate says there's a crisis, they must be. Um, it, all the CEOs of social media, and generally social media is, uh, is responsible for this. I mean, you, I guess if you followed the Iran Book Show for a while, you know that there's nothing that infuriates me more than seeing incredibly productive, creative, innovative entrepreneurs and managers and, and people who actually work for a living uh, being brought in front of Congress and lectured to by the uh, uh, parasites, the, the, the looters, uh, the looters uh, uh, in the Senate. Uh, this is particularly offensive when those looters are Republicans and claim to stand for free enterprise and uh, you know free markets and capitalism and and uh, they they come across as micromanaging central planning socialists. Yesterday was no exception. Uh, the uh, Republican senators and most of the clips I've seen are from Republicans because I think they were the ones who got most passionate. Uh, you know, uh, uh, were pathetic, ludicrous. It, it, it was it was an ugly, ugly, ugly sight. You might not like social media. Most of these social media platforms, I, I don't even know what they do, and I don't particularly like them, um, and I don't know how to use them, and so on. But they built something. They created something. They built and created something of value to people. And we know that because the reveal preference, people use these websites, use these services, are passionate. Many people are passionate about them. They add value. Some of them, that value is reflected in their stock price. Many people's perception of these different social media sites has more to do with their political stand than they have to do with the actual value of these things. And the reality is that most of these social media platforms are not used primarily for politics. Politics is just the, the, the entertainment. Um, but the accusation is that these are used for child sexual exploitation and the blame for any exploitation and suicide of teenagers uh, has to blame with the technology, with the platform itself. God forbid we should blame the exploiters or even more, God forbid, we should blame the parents. No, it's the entrepreneurs. It's the value creators. It's the people who create and build and make these technologies, who advance new technologies in an, and, and try to make them safe. I don't think anybody on this panel, even CEOs of companies that I do not like, I don't think any of them built the, built the companies or run their companies because they relish the idea that children are going to be exploited on them or that they are going to do harm to children. The harm that social media does to children is questionable, put it that way. There's a lot of dispute within the scientific community about whether how much harm and whether there is any harm created by social media. I, I, I have to say that when I was growing up, we were told constantly even though uh, I didn't have TV until I was about nine years old, and after that it was only black and white and small and only programming in the evening, I was still told that TV was destroying my mind. Certainly in the 80s and 90s, as a young adult, I was told constantly that too much television 
was destructive when I was raising my own kids. I remember how much that was said. I, my mother actually told me that I read too much. I was doing too much reading. Parents constantly complain about whatever technology exists at the time. Then it was too much internet. Then it was too much video games. Now it's too much social media. Now, there's no question there is such a thing as too much of any of those things. But the panic and hysteria and the blame always go in one direction. And indeed, at the end of the day, the people responsible for how their kids spend their time are not social media entrepreneurs, they're not CEOs of companies. The people responsible for how their kids spend their time and what they do online and who they interact with online are parents. I also should state that there are a lot of technologies now to help parents filter and control what their parent kids do. But let's not blame the parents. The parents are the victims. The real enemy is social media. The real enemy, I mean, at the top of the pyramid of all enemies, really, of all time, is Mark Zuckerberg. Everybody loves to hate Mark Zuckerberg. Everybody. He's, uh, uh, you know, being accused of being a monopolist. He is, uh, he is a... Um, Obviously, uh, you know, needs to apologize to parents whose children have committed uh, suicide because it is Facebook that is driving them towards that suicide. Uh, it is uh, he who is responsible for the decline in our culture. He is, of course, a lefty, uh, so therefore he is evil because he is left wing. Um, and uh, so let's go after him and slaughter him and kill him and, and do whatever is necessary. Disgusting. The behavior of uh, Josh Hawley yesterday, uh, the, vi the video is viral, you can see it, is absolutely unequivocally disgusting. Ted Cruz sitting smugly next to him, disgusting, offensive. Uh, another senator, who was the other senator, went after the TikTok guy, and it was funny because it was like he was, he was channeling the old 1950s uh, uh, things, and it was like... Uh, uh, the CEO of uh, the CEO of uh, of um, of uh, TikTok is in Singapore. Lives in Singapore. Is a Singapore native, uh, and uh, and 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 the, the questioning went: Are you? Have you ever been? Uh, are you or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? And the guy's saying, No. Or the Chinese Communist Party. And the guy says, No. I I live in Singapore. Uh, 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 you know, uh, do you do this and this and this? No, you know, I, I actually just live in Singapore. I, I'm not Chinese. I'm not a Chinese. You know, I might be ethnically Chinese, but I'm not Chinese. It was embarrassing. <laughs> and you think they've done the research and they know this. But he, the senator looked like a fool. So, um, the, uh, uh, the, the reality is that... Um, our political culture is just uh, horrific, and, and it's only getting worse. I mean, uh, it's been horrific for a long time. I mean, Howard Hughes was brought in front of Congress and treated like this after World War II, but Howard Hughes spoke back. CEOs today stay silent. They, they don't fight back. Uh, you, 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 get, uh, you, you get the bankers coming in uh, during the financial crisis and lamb blasted. You get the auto company CEO brought in uh, during the financial crisis and, and land blasted. And, and I think if I remember right, they had a drive-in because, you know, they, they, they were reports that they were going to fly in on, on corporate private jets and, and everybody freaked out because they were going to fly in and spend all their money. So they drove in as if the CEO's time is not valuable. Uh, and, 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 and they said nothing. Of course, they, were, they ultimately got a bailout. So a bailout that was not particularly favorable to, to them or to shareholders, but primarily to the union. Uh, and uh, over and over again, uh, you know, Bill Gates, uh, Microsoft executives were brought in front of Congress uh, in the 1990s over and over and over again. And to see, again, these, these senators who are not, in my view, that smart. Oh, it was uh, Tom Cotton who was the one who was questioning uh, the uh, CEO of TikTok and made himself look like a fool. Um, I mean, Josh Hawley has high IQ, but he's an idiot. Uh, uh, Ted Cruz, I don't know how smart he is. I don't know how smart Tom Cotton is. 
Josh Hawley, just based on his credentials, is smart, but his mind has been polluted uh, by uh, by uh, by Catholic, uh, uh, you know, by Catholic uh, fundamentalism. Anyway, another pathetic display by our senators, senators uh, who should have more urgent business. Uh, for example, you know. Uh, maybe uh, solving the immigration problem, maybe uh, voting about aid one way or the other, vote against or for, but vote for, uh, for against aid for Ukraine, uh, aid for Israel, aid for Taiwan, uh, maybe cutting spending, maybe reforming out. I mean, there are a million things I could list of things that our senators should be worried about other than uh, bringing in front of us um, the CEOs of uh, social media companies and lamb blasting them. Basically, uh, this is virtue signaling on steroids. They don't care. I mean, if you think for one iota, Josh Hawley or Ted Cruz or Tom Cotton or any of the Democrats on that panel care one iota, they don't. This is all about going after these, these generally leftists with the exception of Linda uh, Yakarino, who's uh, the CEO of X, who might not be a lefty. Everybody is a lefty and just going after them and, and doing a lot of virtue signaling. It's why they're tougher on these executives than the Democrats, because it's all about politics. It has nothing to do with the safety of Americans, and it certainly has nothing to do with protecting the individual rights of Americans. Facebook does not violate your rights. Twitter, even TikTok, does not violate your rights, unless you have not approved their use of information and they are stealing information and giving it to China. And if that is the case, bring a lawsuit against them. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. This isn't, this isn't the medium, this isn't the place to try them for abusing their privacy laws.